All right, Libra, my darling, what is going on for you? All you Libras, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Check out your progress sign if Libra is your progressed sun. That's interesting, too, to take a look at that secondary progression chart. Very interesting. All right, let's take a look and see what's happening in the January energy for you. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So let's see where we go here for Libra. What is going on for you, my darling? Um, Galactic Grandmother. Oh, my word. I haven't seen that card yet. I'm going to read that one to you. Enter one step forward, one step onward. I like that. This is all new stuff. I'm a galactic star seed blooming. Woo, I like this. I will check out that galactic grandmother card in a second here because that's kind of interesting to me. Let me use this deck. Come here, you. <laughs> all right. It's a spider. Well, we'll talk about it in a second. Galactic grandmother. That is so cool. All right, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. That's interesting. Nurturing, nurturing energy. Grandmother. Nine of swords underneath. Oh, dear. <laughs> Libra. The fool in reverse. Moon. Five of swords in reverse. Oh, good deal. So you're going to hold your tongue, are you? Hmm, that's good because I think it's an illusion. I think you might have wanted to blast somebody or be angry about something and it's all an illusion, so you don't do it. I like that. Hermit, eight of wands, yep, not talking. Ace of pentacles in reverse. The world, five of cups in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so I feel like you're um, living in this bubble of an illusion. All right. You're not going to take action on it. You're not going to speak, speak it. You're not going to talk about it. It's going to be an internal thing. Okay. So this is, you're basically needing to heal what's going on inside of you. This is a, a call to action. Okay. It's not about being out in the world or finding the answer out in the world. It's about finding it inside. This Ace of Pentacles already has been planted. It's already planted. It's, it's working its way through the lovely dark soil it's being nurtured you don't have to go out and pull it up to see if it's growing you don't have to do anything like that um i do feel like there's a, a shift happening there is a going from one life into another the energy is the energy of uh intentions setting intentions and i feel like letting go of any kind of regrets that you might have and also any kind of indulgence any kind of Things from the past that are bothering you, that make you feel like you're not going to get where you want to go. It's time to let go of all that. You've got all kinds of nonsense going around in your brain right now. You might have had some sleepless nights, whatever. Instead, it's not about th this is like rampant, like monkey mind stuff where your brain just won't shut off. This is about looking at those things. What is being said? What's being said? Okay, in your mind in the middle of the night, because spirit doesn't let us get super duper off track without mm, a little nudge to get you back on. Okay, and a lot of times this energy, this nighttime, scary, I'm afraid of what's going to be happening, anxiety kind of stuff. This happens when you're off track. Okay, there's something that is not being, you're not gaining wisdom from this. This is fear. Okay, so it's time to, it's time to step into uh, more meditation. It's time to step into not taking control of your thoughts necessarily. It's blocking downloads. It's blocking the way forward. This four of swords in reverse here is, it's definitely, um, you're not healing this by ignoring it. And when we get these kind of um, soul trigger moments where 
where we get feet, we have a lot of fear around something or whatever. It's the universe going, okay, you're a little bit off track. You need to get back on track. You need to get back into your alignment. You need to get back into your high vibration. You need to get back on the road. Okay. Um, it's likely you've gotten off the track and this is the, the, what happens when you kind of jump and then you fall on your head a little bit because this has been such an illusion. Whatever's going on in your head, you're making it up, but you're making it up. But I want to say to you that there is something to pay attention to, okay? You're, you're, the anxiety, everything is like you're ramping this up. But what is it about? Is it about money? Are you worried that you haven't invested enough? Are you worried that you haven't, you know, used your money wisely? Are you worried, fearful, whatever? Um, it's time to redo that. It's time to rework whatever's going on. You're like, okay, so I'm having these really kind of nightmares around money or taxes or a, something I said in a relationship or something I did or didn't do. You're having these mind terrors about it and it's like okay this capricorn energy that we are in right now leading into this new moon january 2nd is about taking a look at what's not working and putting taking strides making strides taking steps to setting it right okay so if you feel like you said something very unkind to a person or you broke it off with a person before you should have or you sent someone packing or you didn't stand up for yourself. You didn't stand up for your um, beliefs or what you want. You didn't say it. You didn't say it. Whatever's going on here, you have a chance now to fix it. Enter one step forward, one step onward. So this is not about fixing it all in one step necessarily. This could be a bigger issue. This could be a lifelong thing that you have these middle of the night anxiety attacks. And it's important to look at what's coming up from your subconscious that is giving you the, this dream state of fear. Okay, what, what is it about? What is it about? Let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This one, please. All right, the High Priestess, right? You're not listening to your intuition. Uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. Power in reverse. Wow, look at all these reversals. My goodness. Five of Cups in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. Look at all these reversals. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Okay, so some of you are... Um, needing to really revamp how you're doing things. You're going from one life to another. So do you wanna drag some of this stuff with you? Let's change, let's work on no more regrets. Let's work on being specific about what I'm manifesting. Uh, I feel like some of you did dodge a bullet um, with a relationship or with a situation. Some of you did um, overindulge. Uh, this is all water energy here. So there could be a lot of like, sadness around an old relationship that didn't work out very well it's mostly because you weren't listening to your own intuition okay and i feel like now three of wands eight of pentacles seven of cups in the upright is really about confusion i'm not sure what to do all right and the nine of pentacles in reverse having no um self-confidence so the good news here is that this is showing up for you to say, hey, it's time to turn this around. This Capricorn energy is gonna get you to plant the seeds of new intentions. What do you wanna create? You're working off of a faulty premise, an illusion. You're working off an illusion that I, you know, I, I'm not, uh, my business isn't growing. My, um, my love is running away from me. My love is cheating on me. You're working on an illusion. You don't know. You don't know because you're not listening to your own intuition. You're listening to fear. Okay. It's time to listen to your intuition. It's, t you cannot learn to ride a bicycle in a hurricane. So this is going to be a process. Galactic grandmother here. 
a galactic grandmother here. I don't know if I'm, I'm not a grandmother, but you know, um, I'm an auntie. I'm an auntie. Okay. Um, let me read you this. Let me read you this. Um, galactic grandmother, mother nature, wisdom. Again, this, this uh, hermit energy here, stern, but loving grandparent. The galactic grandmother is providing her, providing you her blessing of love and joy. She wants only what's best for you, but she will smack you over the head and set you straight if you veer off. That's what's going on here. She's a stern but loving bubba, and your galactic grandmother isn't afraid to call you out on your BS. Grandmother is the essence of Pachamama, the earth, mother nature. Come and sit a bit for come and sit for a bit of cake and tea. She's here to share with you the timeless wisdom of stories, values, guidance passed down from the ages. So I feel like when you're getting yourself grounded in this Capricorn uh, new moon energy, we have it on January 2nd. So it's time to set some intentions, not based in illusion. Okay. Not based in illusion, based instead in wisdom. Okay. You have the wisdom, you have the capability. This is all your own nonsense. You're building this up. And it's time to ground yourself. It's time to really set an intention. And this may be just one of the things you do for 2022 is that I'm going to put in practice a practice. Every day, I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to ask for the intention of my galactic grandmother. Every day. What does my nurturing grandma have to say to me today? And then listen. What is going on here that's freaking you out? Go right toward it. Work on fixing it. That's the great energy of Capricorn that you can do it. You can do it. All right. You can plant the seed. You can change this. Okay. All right. I'm going to continue on. You may be, this may be uh, um, uh, important to you or not important to you, but if this is about another person, I see, um, I see uh, Pisces here, I see Virgo, I see Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Cancer. All right, I will look at those three in the extended. Uh, if you're dealing with any of those people or, or any of those signs, Pisces, Virgo, Cancer, I'll pull a couple cards around those two. This is your story. There is a link below. I'm going to continue on with this reading. I'll see you over there. Mm -hmm.